Hello Godfest, I trust that you are well. Um, I am going to be bringing you a short devotion this week and I hope that you find it encouraging. Um, in John 1, it says this, it says, In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, He was in the beginning with God. And then in verse 14, it says um, something amazing, it says, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as of the Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. I love this text um, and I found it encouraging in this last weekend because I found that um, a- as I was thinking about it and processing it, that the, the truth is that God has himself lived among us he has gone through what we're going through he has faced different trials and different challenges um, that we're facing and, and the word of god says that jesus is seated at the right hand of the father and there he is interceding for us what this means is that when i come to god and I bring my pleas. When I come to God and um, I am heavy in my heart and in my emotions, uh, when I come to God and I am in distress and I am worried, I come to a God who understands and who can relate. He has been where I am and faced what I have faced or um, even worse than what I have faced. And so what this means is that God isn't removed from our challenges and our trials, uh, but he can relate to our challenges and our trials and so in our suffering God can relate in our worry and in our anxiety God can relate Um, in different challenges that we are faced with God can relate it says um, uh, of Jesus um, just even remembering the last weekend that we've uh, gone through that when he was in the garden of Gethsemane that he was um, uh, he was sweating drops of blood because of the level of stress um, and because of the level of anxiety that he was carrying. And so we see that we worship a God who understands. We worship a God who relates. We worship a God who isn't removed from our, um, our challenges and our trials, uh, but who is here with us. In Hebrews, um, the text that Greg was reading this last week and um, simply says this, Hebrews chapter 2, um, and in verse 16, it says this, it says, For surely it is not angels that he helps, but he helps the offspring of Abraham. Therefore, he had to be made like his brothers in every respect, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God to make propitiation for the sins of the people. For because he himself has suffered when tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted. And so we find that Jesus relates to us where we are. Jesus understands where we are and Jesus empathizes with us where we are and I hope that this gives us confidence to be able to come to God um, to freely come to God to joyfully come to God knowing that um, we come to and we worship a God who isn't removed uh, but a God who understands and who can relate to where we are have a great week